Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution, where we are playing sandbox mode, where we create the ultimate dinosaur park. And my gosh, again, thank you guys so much for all of your feedback. Like I asked you in the last episode about this uh, freaking monorail, and um, I alre already said to you guys, like I'm happy to delete it because for some reason it just doesn't feel right. At least not right now. It just it's there, like. It's really there and a lot of you guys agree with me like delete it some of you say maybe you can replace it uh, you can place it later on but for now it just really ruins the look of our park so okay maybe we don't get five stars in the end because of the transporting but I really don't care <laughs> and thank you guys so much for all your amazing comments as I said before I, I always try to read them all and I give you a like or I reply to you and I just really love all your comments so please don't stop doing that and talking about comments because I really have a question to you guys because you are all so new to the channel and I normally I mostly played planet coaster my channel and I will still do but for now I'm just super hyped with um, Jurassic World Evolution of course but I really would like to know your top three of games you like to watch on YouTube just to have an idea next to Jurassic World Evolution what kind of games you would like to see so please let me know in the comment section what kind of games your top three would you like to watch at YouTube I'm really looking forward to to hear that because I have honestly no idea but I'm super happy that you're all here of course so thank Thank you again. Okay, I stop I stop saying thank you now. Um in the last episode, we build, well, we didn't really build anything new, did we? We incubated some dinosaurs over here. We have the Stegosaurus that has just been delivered because they broke out of the fences all the time. That was like, oh, breaking my head. And um, <laughs> what I really want to do for this episode, I really want to have those long necks right over here. You know what? Since we maybe not go for the sandbox five stars right now, we can maybe also just decide to not have more than one hotel. Like, I promise you guys, after this episode uh, or series of sandbox, I have some awesome plans for Jurassic World Evolution, so don't worry, it will not end after this dinosaurs park. And we also have, will have the DLC, of course, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, for sure, for the future too, so, so don't worry. But I really just want to see if we can make, like, the most perfect and beautiful park. The only thing I really want is, like, different uh, power cables, because this is so much ruining our view of the whole part too but oh well okay so what I was saying I want to have some long necks here so I was thinking to at least go for the Brachiosaurus and the Camarasaurus so let's just start incubating those because we do have to wait and I think I will go for at least four. Oh, okay genomes Let's rename this. Someone commented like, you should rename your Hammond Creation Lab so you won't forget the genomes. I have no idea if I will read this all the time, but I just don't want to forget. Um, so I'll just call it genomes. <laughs> Hopefully, if I click it, well, maybe it will ring a bell when I click it and want to incubate dinosaurs. So let's do this. Modify genome and then we're gonna have different colors. And we're gonna make sure that they have the longest lifespan. And I'm gonna do this quickly because I think you guys have seen this and you know how it is. So let's just make sure they have the longest lifespan real quick. I just have to change this one. So, okay, there we go. Okay, so incubate another Brachiosaurus and modify to rainforest pattern. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun with different genomes. And do we have another one? Oh no, I clicked it. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked it instead of modified genome. Oh well, things happen. Okay, let's put a 
gate right over here and let's make sure that oh i don't have to do that just press r i always tend to go to the ranger station to click the jeep but i'm so happy to know you have the shortcuts okay one two and let's have another ranger resupply these feeders there we go okay so we need to make an ex um an enclosure over here and also, oh yeah, how is my Parasaurolophus doing? Ah, oh, I'm learning guys, I'm learning Parasaurolophus. <laughs> you hear how smooth it goes right now? I'll probably mess up the next time again, but hey, doing my best. Okay, where is my new favorite? Ah, oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, she is so Beautiful picture. <laughs> I love her. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I, I can't promise you what date, but instead of making a video next week, I will be streaming. And what I want to do is, uh, for everyone that is in the stream, I want to... Well, I, I probably can't get all your names in but I will name them after you after people that are in the live stream and if there are so many people we need to figure out how we're gonna do that but it's just fun to to name some dinosaurs to you guys so uh, make sure to be there if I will be streaming I will announce it at my Twitter channel of course and also at my Facebook channel so hopefully to see you there but that's not for now for this episode we are going to make a long neck enclosure and I'm going to use the concrete wall, I think, for those guys. Wait, did we? Oh no, this is perfectly fine. Okay, we do have... I have an idea. Let's grab a path and I think I will just go for the gray one, the normal path. And did we already... We didn't place a fence over here, but I don't think we have to. Because we're already gonna grab a fence. Is that... Yes, that is straight. We're already gonna have a fence for the enclosure of the long necks. There we go, I think... Yeah, I like this. And it's probably gonna be like this whole corner. This this whole area. Maybe even including this and then we can add some gyrospheres. Gyrospheres? Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go again. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You didn't hear me at all. Okay? <laughs> um. Okay, let's see if we can... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna place it right over here and then another one over here. Now what I would like to try, I would allow them to be only in this corner because then we can use this space obviously for some other dinosaurs. But the problem with those dinosaurs is that they tend to be very... Uh, unhappy in smaller enclosures so <laughs> we just have to see if this would work so why do I hear like that dangerous sound as if a dinosaur is breaking out or anything like that I don't know okay let's connect these and let's build the enclosure how are we gonna make this straight now Is it snapping? And I'm annoyed by that snap. Okay. Oh, I know. I have an idea. That's over here too. Ha. Huh. Gyro station. And now the question is if I'm able to squeeze that in right over here. And to build a track too. That is going to be the challenge. So let's first 
close it. Okay, you don't even notice it that much now, so that's good. And let's build you straight. And straight over here. Let's look at the map, how that looks. Okay, we have a little bend over here, but not so worried about that. Because we do need to build that track too. Okay, you already have some terrain forming right over here. Oh, I need to make sure. Yeah, I was afraid so. Um, I think this will be too small. Okay, I think that's straight enough. Okay, maybe we can make it a little bit bigger like that. Let's just wait and see how the Brachiosaurus and Camarasaurus will think about their enclosure. Can we get some more trees in, please? Thank you, because they love trees. And then we're gonna build the track. And we're just gonna make a circle, I think. Ah, uh, this is way too small again, but I'm just afraid that in the end we can't really place all the dinosaurs in, so... Decisions, decisions, guys! Okay, and then we're gonna play some more trees. Because unfortunately they need that many trees that you won't even see the dinosaurs. Okay, and have some water in the middle. I think this is too small, but let's just see because I'm pretty sure they are done incubating right now. Okay, this is connected. Let's build a gate real quick. Let's build you right over here. And give them some power. Don't they need power? Oh no, you have a substation right over here. That's amazing. Okay. What doesn't have power then? Or do we now are we now lust out of power? Power generators, available power, 184. Okay, something isn't connected. But I wonder what. Oh, wait, that's not power. That's a, dino a dinosaur being sick. Okay, R. Which one? Wait, I thought I already cured him, but nope. Nope, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna get the the transport team. And we're gonna bring you to your enclosure. Was that right over here? Yes, it is. I totally forgot about that dinosaur. I thought I already transported it, but nope. Okay, failed and failed. Okay, so now we need to think clear because we already have two genomes so we can change now so we already have the first one and rainforest so tundra rainforest then we go for a step of pattern genome incubate and we go for wetland there we go so hopefully the incubating will now work and since we did change the sandbox options in the last episode, we can now change... Oh, we already did. Improve output. Okay, no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, let's go back because, yeah, well, we do need to wait now for our dinosaurs to be added in this enclosure. And as I said, I'm not really sure if this is big enough. But we just have to wait and see. 
Um, I'm a little bit worried that we maybe want to have another Hammond creation lab. Well, not worried, but I think it will be very useful to just make a small one right over here. So let's do that. So we can have like a little bit more speed in our in our incubating dinosaurs. So this is just going to be temporary so we can have some more speed with incubating. Let's get a gate. And some trees and water oh gosh okay no water allowed nowhere oh great okay, there we go great brilliant we have water now it's not much but it's water there we go awesome and then we can cr oh no we <laughs> we have to wait until it's done Okay, so let's build a road. All temporary. This is gonna be removed really soon. And a power substation. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so this Hammond Creation Lab is now done. So we can make sure we have enough hatchery capacity and a success rate of 3.0. So that means we can now incubate the Mayasaurus. And the thing is, I really want to make sure that we can add that one in this enclosure. And I know we looked into that in the last episode, but I'm not really sure if we can... How many dinosaurs can be in here? No, it was a Triceratops. That one was really annoying with how many he wanted in his population. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we could add three Myasaurus, but I'm not really sure if we can, if three is enough. So that is a little bit the question now. Are we gonna take that chance? Well, let's, let's try it and else we're gonna build another enclosure for the Myasaurus. So let's modify its genome one will be alpine oh and we also need to make sure that it has a long lifespan okay that one is already good brilliant okay so incubate one then incubate savannah pattern gene and then woodland we can only have three in that enclosure, so let's wait and see if that will work, work out. Oh, it's so annoying that it keeps failing. Okay, so it just had a little crash, which is totally fine. But uh, that means that I had to incubate the dinosaurs again, and that is also just fine. And But I did change the Brachiosaurus a little bit because uh, this one was like terrible to hatch so i changed it a little bit so it doesn't live that long but hopefully it will now work out to incubate them and we also have the myasaurus and we are going to release them and hopefully we can add them to the enclosure with the parasaurolophus and what was it again what we have in that same enclosure ah stegosaurus that's right Gorgeous genome. That color is really nice. I think this is the alpine. It looks really good. Okay, uh, how many dinosaurs do you need? Four. Okay, we are a little bit... Uh, I'm panicking, panicking. No, I'm not panicking. Let's see, well, because we do need to make sure where we can place them maybe we can add them um, no the pentaceratops wasn't happy with adding more dinosaurs so we can't really add them right over here it says 15 and this would be 16 hmm let's check one more time 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. That will be 16. So that is not going to work out. So we do need to place them in a different enclosure. But that's fine. We can do that. And he still... She is still not happy. Oh, let's see. Wow, look at the difference. That is just gorgeous. I really like it that you can play with those color genomes to give them a total different feeling of how they look. That's really cool. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Thumbs up if you agree. Like, seriously, they are gorgeous. Okay, so we do have four of those. That social should be fine. Four, it says. I might take it five or six. Why are you not happy? There are four in the same enclosure. Okay, let's just incubate two more and let's quickly make an enclosure for them. Coastal. And I don't know if we have something else, but one, two, three. Okay, let's go for wetland incubate. Okay, so we're gonna have two of them. They look happy right now, but let's see. Let's create another. Shall we put a path straight over here? But then we really have like this shape, but I like this shape. I do like the shape and, and we're gonna make different uh, different dinosaur parks so we we can just use the shape right I like it oh that one was not straight okay it does mean we're gonna create some more fences over here and then make it straight there we go, and quickly make a viewing platform. And then tranquilize. One, two, three, and... Hidden four, where are you? There you are. Great, how... Ah, oh, they are done. They are done, that is awesome. But, yeah, we're gonna release them. <sighs> they look so gorgeous. I love that music in the background, like, oh, it fits so good. Okay, social group, one to five, so four is totally fine. Let's release number two. Because now we do have different colors. Hello, we're here. Look at our side. Lady, hello. I can't see you. I want to see your face. I also really like this color. That is beautiful. Okay, let's... Give them a tall herbivore for a feeder. Because I think they will like that. Okay, release another. It's not the same one as the other one. Color pattern does look a bit alike, doesn't it? Let's see. I see some orange. 
I can't really see because you're in... I think those are the same, so I accidentally got the same genome. Am I wrong? It does look like lighter paws over here, but is that from the sun or... I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Isn't that also the same one as that one? Yep, lady screwed it. <laughs> oh, well, things happen. So we have two by two. Okay, let's tranquilize those before they get mad. So then we can bring those guys to their new environment. And that will be over here. We need to put some trees in and some water, but that will be fine because it takes some time to transport them. And we can also already release the other two. <laughs> Look how carefully she comes out of the lab. She looks so friendly. Like, I don't know what that is. It, it, I, I said uh, in the last episode with the Parasaurolophus that they have such friendly eyes. Well, some, of course, not all of them, but for some reason they did such a great job on the eyes. Same goes for her. I like that color pattern, by the way. That is beautiful. The greenish. Yeah. That is really nice. Okay, so tranquilize those two. And we need to put in some water. Now, I have no idea what how much forest they need and if this will be big enough we might oh we can just expand this let's do that let's expand this enclosure how many dinosaurs could be in this 15 if i'm right oh 23 ideal population 23 i like that so we can add a, a bunch of different dinosaurs in here i really like that there we go Delete, defense. I'm really happy with autosave, by the way, in this game because you don't lose that much progress. So that is really great. Okay, we need to put some viewing galleries on that side too, by the way. How much forest do they need? I wonder. Uh, okay, more forest for sure. Okay, let's have it like that. Perfect. And then have a ground herbivore right over here, and one over here. A ground feeder. <laughs> right where the herbivore. Okay, and our Brachiosaurus is also ready for transport. So let's see, and hopefully they will be satisfied in this enclosure. Well, we have to wait and see about that. Okay, so Myasaura, check. Brachiosaura, check. They will be transported very soon to this enclosure and we already have these guys running around rolling around i have to say and it's probably not that popular because we don't have any dinosaurs in 320 without any dinosaur that's really funny oh wow it is what it is Okay, we have our enclosure over here. We do need to build some viewing galleries on the other side. So let's have one over here and one on this side. Now, while I'm building these, I'm thinking like, how much space do we have? Well, it's not enough to build another enclosure in, the, in that corner. 
I like this shape, guys. I hope you do too, because I really enjoy the shape. So we're probably not going to have any shops over here. We can maybe smooth this a little bit and fill this up if we can. Not in a perfect way. Let's try it on the other side and then delete that one and that one and we might have a shop right over here and let's smoothie smooth right over here I might change this path a little bit so it has like this night nice plating right over here and okay Moyasaurus transported oh look at that Panicking? No, I don't want you to panic. Please don't. Okay, you need more grassland and the forest is okay, so we do need to expand it. I think this will be enough though. So let's delete that fence. And then have a few more trees, not too many. Okay, how... What do you think now, Brachiosaurus? What do you think now? Where are you? You're hidden! Ah, there you are. Okay, you still want more grassland? Let's delete some trees. Hoping for the best variation. Not satisfied at all. Well, not at all, but still needs more grass. But I'm so afraid that we will lose too much trees. Has oh, it's it's the tight squeeze. Okay, she is more happy. Why isn't the rest arriving? Are they flying already? There they are. Aw, poor girls. You see that neck, like, bouncing in the air? <sighs> the small little details in this game. That's so amazing. Are they happy with their enclosure? Okay, totally fine with the grassland, totally fine with the forest. Okay, so only... Oh, okay. She's already getting a little bit happier, but... I'm a bit annoyed that you can't change this because they want so much pace all the time. Hmm. Shall we expand it a little bit more then? And what I said, like this this corner, we want them to be happy and we also want to add more uh, in their population, right? We want to have more of those long necks in this enclosure, so yeah, we're, we're probably going to expand this, this little area. And um, yeah, let's do that in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and let me know, as I said in the beginning, what is your top three of games you like to watch mostly at YouTube because I'm really curious what all my new subscribers like to see. And also if you're a longer subscriber, you can all, of course tell me what is your most watched top three of gaming videos at YouTube. I'm really looking forward to see all your comments again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. Leave a like at the video and I really hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you so much guys. Bye bye.